We're joined now by Virg Monero, mayor of Lansing, Michigan, which has two GM plants that employ some 6,000 workers. Mayor, good morning. Are you in shock? Are you bewildered? Are you dismayed? Well, I'm not happy. This is a colossal failure in leadership uh, that imperils our future here and uh, really across the country, puts this economy uh, closer to the cliff. And I think we see that already in the, re in the reaction. Do you, uh, hang on a second. Do you blame the UAW? Do you blame the Republicans? Do you blame the car companies for lack of imagination? Uh, look, there's plenty of blame to go around, and you didn't mention Congress and Wall Street, and the, most of the blame is Washington and Wall Street for bringing us to this point. You know, I find it highly ironic to have Congress people lecturing the UAW about cutting their wages. Why don't we put Congress people and senators on merit pay and see what they would be making? What has their productivity been? Give me a break. They're, they're leaking, they're, they're flowing red ink out of Washington. They print money, and then they're going to lecture. And Wall Street, the Wall Street wizards that brought us to this point, you know, what the UAW and the big three are guilty of is raising the standard of living in this country, not just for union workers, but for all workers. Because the reason that the workers at the non-union plants get paid what they do, which is, a, I guess, a decent wage, is thanks to the UAW. But now we have Republican senators beating up on the UAW and demanding that they take concessions. Why don't we start the concessions in the U.S. Senate? Let me ask you this, though. If it hinges on whether or not the UAW makes concessions or not, isn't it incumbent upon the UAW to make the concession to save the, save the industry? And the UAW has made concessions. The UAW has made historic concessions, and I'm sure they're willing to make more. Is the U.S. Senate going to dictate exactly what an automaker works? Again, I think it's it's the mm -hmm. height of hypocrisy for them to be demanding that we go down to to uh, you know standards of our of, of competitors overseas. Mm -hmm. they, they've outsourced our standard of living by trade agreements that are not fair. They've already made an unlevel playing field where the American worker can't compete. You know, when we competed in China on a level playing field in the Olympics, we brought back the gold. The American worker today can bring back the gold if we can level that playing field. Any chance the President of the United States pops $15 billion of TARP money to, to, to save this deal? I'm glad you asked that, because due to this colossal failure in the U.S. Senate, now it's up to the President and the Treasury Secretary, and I call on the President, and I think working Americans will appreciate the President stepping in and pull us back from the precipice, pull us back from the economic cliff, because uh, this is the thing that could push us from recession to depression. For God's sakes, I hope the President acts. Virg Bonero, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. So, you bet. All right. Thank <laughs> you.